Hey everyone, welcome to the most chaotic vlog I've ever done. It's pure madness. I think moving is just insane and I am exhausted. It's 8 p.m. 7 p.m. Pacific time, so I should not be this exhausted, but I like can't even keep my eyes open. I look crazy the entire vlog, so get used to it. It's, it's a crazy vlog, but we are in Colorado. You can see a new background. This is our new house. It was a journey getting here, but I'm so happy to be here. And I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm going to do a full tour once we get settled, but right now it's just like so many boxes. So let's jump into it. These are the last few moments in our Vegas house. The movers just came, moved for less, and they are absolutely phenomenal. Their entire crew, they were just so kind and so lovely and so efficient. They said they were gonna show up at seven, showed up right at seven. Took them about four or five hours to pack up everything. So impressive. And there's so many things that I forgot to pack that they helped me with. So I'm just feeling a lot better, a lot less anxious. Just going through the final things and then I'm going to hit the road to Colorado. Just a long uh, nine hour drive. I'm gonna break it up into two days because the test, I think I have to charge the Tesla four times. Dean is at the store right now. He's just going to stay behind because he doesn't have to charge and paint, get everything ready. Um, but it's an exciting day. I'm so excited to be there tomorrow, except there's one thing that I'm kind of dreading. So when we went to the house right after Christmas, um, we found mouse poop everywhere. So we laid out traps and I was like, Dean, I'm not going into the house until you dispose of dead mice, which is gross. And then I, I, it didn't click until today where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be at the house before him. What the heck am I gonna do? So I think I'm gonna buy really big gloves. I'm gonna put on sunglasses so I can't really see very well and, and do it. But there is a chance that our mouse traps didn't catch any mice. So I won't have to deal with that, but we'll see. That's the only thing that's really stressing me out now that everything's out of the house. Our plan is to get a cat though. Dean's brother and his wife have a cat that specializes in killing mice. Uh, it's a bummer, it's, it's definitely a bummer, but Dean's like, this is mountain living. This is what you get when you're living high up in the mountains. So, something I gotta get used to. Al and I made it to Richfield. Why, I need a new phone. Oh my gosh, why is it so blurry? Made it to Richfield and I've driven to Colorado once in the Tesla um, and I remembered there being a charger right next to a hotel. I mean, a lot of, a lot of chargers are, but one in Utah. Thankfully, I was right. So I've stopped at the Holiday Inn. I still have five hours to go. It really, I'm taking my sweet time in this car because I have to stop every few hours because chargers are so spread out. So I'm going to hunker down with my boy, read. I'm reading A Court of Akatar. I'm just gonna say Akatar. I'm reading that. I know this is a moving vlog, but I just have to talk about my obsession with reading lately. I can't, I can't be stopped. So I read fourth wing and iron flame in like a week maybe two weeks i started them at the most inopportune time because i had so much to do so much packing to do and at 7 p.m every night i was like i have to read and every morning i would wake up drink my ag1 drink my herba mate drink my matcha whatever i had in front of me and just sit for like two hours three hours and then any break that i took while packing I would spend it reading. I am obsessed with this book. If you if you listen to Suckers, I'm sorry, that's seriously all I can talk about these days. Uh, and if you're reading it too, please DM me so we can talk about it because I'm like begging all of my friends to read it. Anyways, this is a moving vlog. That's not important. I'm gonna go upstairs and read and my car is currently charging. I, I don't even know if any of that made sense. I have to say something I'm so excited about <laughs> is to actually move into the house and just settle and be in one place because ever since we moved to Vegas, we've just been back and forth, LA, Vegas, traveling nonstop. And Dean and I, our promise to each other was, we're gonna move to near Aspen. He hates when I say to Aspen because we live, we do not live in Aspen. We cannot afford that. When we move near Aspen, we are going to just really settle down and travel a lot less. That being said, we are going to Australia next week. But after that, and then we have another trip to Pebble Beach. Anyways, we're gonna slow things down. I can't even get a point across. And, and my whole point in saying that was, I'm so excited to be settled and be in one place because my brain for the past few years, since living in two different places, since the wedding, 
and now the move like I just feel crazy a lot of the time and I'm, I'm excited to just be able to really be calm be focused be back to my normal self even though I don't even know what that is anymore because it's been so long also something I talked about on Instagram is I've been doing neurofeedback and I think that's really gonna help me to just be more grounded, be less frantic and all over the place, and hopefully a lot more YouTube videos. I'm just so excited. And now it is snowing like crazy. I picked the perfect time to stop because I could not drive in this. This is wild. Okay, I'm gonna go read. Now, Akatar is all I can think about. I am obsessed. I am simply book obsessed. I'm officially one hour away. We are officially one hour away. I just bought gloves and I've got my sunglasses. I really don't know what's worse. Is it worse to catch the mice and have to dispose of them? Which is literally just gonna break my heart. I'm, I'm not gonna be okay with that. Or go see the traps and all of the traps are empty. I don't know, but I got these specifically to pick them up in case they're there and they're if there were dead mice, this is so morbid and so sad. And you know, I know I was a, a pescatarian for a long time and didn't didn't like to eat animals. Now, I might be responsible for killing them. I know. What would you do if there was a mouse in your house? Uh, I feel like there's no other option, right? Oh, I don't know. There's butter tips out there. We have a very long driveway, covered in snow. Somehow, my Tesla made it. Al is so excited. I've got my glasses, my gloves. So. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm inside. Bad news is the very first thing I see is more mouse poop. My heart is racing. Okay, I know there's one right there. I don't see a mouse, it's good. Another one, no mouse. I think you put one on top of the fridge. No mouse, no mouse. They're really actually hard to see. Four traps, no mice. I don't think there's any in here, but look at the sunset. Now, I think the coast is clear, which sucks because that means we're living with mice, but um, let me just show you the sunset. So beautiful. Back to work. I don't remember how many he set. I know there's one. This one I'm worried about. Please. No mouse, no mouse. Okay, so these traps suck. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. I, I just got groceries and just dropped it. Great start, great start. There's salsa all over the garage. Thrilled about that, except the mouse poop. Not great. We left this house a mess. We like dropped our stuff and ran. Yeah, no mice. Okay. Guys, I think the coast is, oh shoot. Just one more. This would be the last place Dean would put one. It is so hard to see. Coast is clear. I'm so excited. I just woke up. I was feeling better about the mice. I don't know why that was silly of me, but I was like, you know, we're gonna move in. Maybe we'll scare them off. I don't know. I don't know what my thought process was. I just walked into the kitchen. They ate through my bananas. And I thought I was making this up, but Al had this treat, this like long treat that my grandma gave him, but it doesn't have teeth so he couldn't eat it. But I let him lick it like a lollipop because there's icing. I, I guess I left it out. My mistake, we literally were here, dropped our stuff and ran. Last time we were here, we had to catch a flight. Left it out. They ate the whole thing. I was like, am I making this up? No, they ate the whole thing. And now they just chewed, chewed through my bananas. So I told Dean, I just called Dean freaking out. I think we're gonna go to a rescue place today and get a cat. So I'm, I can't, I can't do this. And they took a big chunk and left all of that poop behind. The movers are here and I'm hiding out in the bathroom because he is a menace. He'll attack if I let him loose and he will bark if I'm not with him. So I'm just, got my lights up. I'm working, working on some things for Dillard's. Do you have anything to say about the move, the movers, how easy it was? Oh my gosh, they are lifesavers. We would be, we'd be nipple deep and moving if it wasn't for them. Nipple deep? Yeah. Maybe more, maybe up to like our shoulders. You look like a white walker right now. Uh, they were great. They were so nice. Everyone introduced themselves. They came up and shook my hand. And I was like, oh, you guys would be so nice. They were wonderful. Move for less. They packed everything with care. All of our delicates and yeah, electronics. Were nothing's all, broken. That's crazy. We're all, yeah, they're all wrapped and double wrapped. 
it's a big hill for them to climb. So you they know, did it. some of the stuff got put out at where it was supposed to be, but we were just like, leave it in the living room and we'll do the rest later. Yeah. Cause they did so much. They did so much. And like packed things up for us. It was wonderful. It's a thousand mile drive they made for us too. Amazing. I'm telling everyone I know that's moving. Move for Less is, they are phenomenal. Gotta use Move for Less. Also, I've heard horror stories like on TikTok about people losing their stuff and it's just never showing up. So yeah, that didn't happen. We had a great experience. Yeah, great experience. Thank you, Move for Less. <laughs> okay, let's begin the tour. Just please ignore the mess. Hopefully this is the messiest you'll ever see it. Here is the bathroom. The closet. I'm gonna tackle this tomorrow, maybe. It's so messy the dining area this is in the way currently working on the kitchen i think we're gonna paint these black potentially it's so messy that i'm adamant to get this done super super quickly and then gonna tackle this eventually okay so the previous owners had two kids and i guess they had a lot of laundry so we had two sets of washer and dryers which i didn't think i was would use but i've already used it here is a guest bedroom. I'm, I'm, I haven't talked to Dean about this, but I'm guessing he's gonna make a bed for this room. Bathroom. There's another bathroom. That mirror is a little weird. Oh, it's even weirder in person. <laughs> so the, I love this room. It's a little bunk room. It's gonna be great for when we have kids and I wanna do something fun with those shelves right there. Is Dean's closet. He's made much more progress than I have. Boxes everywhere. I'd love to be minimalist. Here's the living room with my husband. Well, I'm just taking a bit of a break. It's been a busy day. I set up upstairs stuff. Oh, I didn't, I haven't been up there. You'll get there. I'll get there. I set up some office stuff. What else? I'll get there. Uh, I did other things as well. Yeah, I trust you. Yeah? Yeah, I'll go see. This is my little reading nook. I think we might paint this black and put this in the kitchen, but yeah. Paint it black, you never told me that. I want to paint it black. No, I think the wood is the part of the appeal of that thing. But they have it, they sell it in black. Just because they sell it in black doesn't mean it looks better black. But we're going to paint the stools black, why don't we paint this black? We're going to paint everything black? Well, it doesn't match the decor. I painted all room black, you hate that. True. <laughs> this, we tried to move yesterday, it's way too heavy for me, so Dean has a friend coming over to move it upstairs. This is the office, much brighter than the last office. Oh, I didn't realize he did this. So he started to put the gym together. That's dirty, it needs to be cleaned. Put a TV here. We're thinking about putting a couch here. Then I love this so much. There's more storage up here on the right that's not finished. So Dean's gonna work on finishing that, the baseboards. I just like picture, I'm out of breath. Oh my God, the elevation really gets to you. But I picture our kids just having sleepovers here. It's so cute. I really love the bunk bed so much. Okay, I think it's time to end this vlog, this very crazy vlog, just surrounded by boxes at the moment. So I will be doing a finished home tour once these boxes are out of the way, hopefully by the end of the month. I think we're, we're going through them pretty quickly, but we do leave for Australia in like three days. So we'll see. Uh, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the official house tour once we're all settled. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.